Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Today I am going to show you how to make a doggy. So we're gonna make a doggy. It's a yarn doggy. So I'll do my preparation. Hi, today while I'm going to do my crafting, making these dogs, I'm going to uh, tell you a story. Um, now, this story is a true story and it may not be right for many people, but I just want to present the story. And so everybody's situation is different and everybody has different health condition. So this is not for you to follow or anything. You do whatever is suitable for you and whatever according to your doctor's advice. So this is not any kind of medical advice or anything. This is just a story, just a plain story, which happened to be a true story. So Neha was living in US for pretty much all her life. And then her one and only brother, Jyoti's, uh, his daughter, which is Neha's niece, was getting married and Neha had to be there for the wedding. Now in the U.S., Neha worked in the medical field and she was working in hospital and nursing homes and during this time somehow she injured her back by lifting patients and uh, giving them bath and taking care of them and lifting them and positioning them and putting them in wheelchair and so on so she injured her back so she was in a lot of back pain and this pain was constant day and night and her back pain made her very miserable so for a while she couldn't work so she was just home and she went from doctor to doctor and had all kinds of tests done on her, all kinds of, uh, um, she had MRI, x-ray, sonogram, and all kinds of things, CT scan, all kinds of scan and all kinds of x-rays doctor did. And then they gave her lots of salt in her back for pain. And everything seemed to, something seemed to aggravate it, make it worse. And something seemed to work for a day. But nothing was a solution. And she was still um, suffering with this nagging 24 hours pain. So she didn't know what to do. So in the meantime, she started doing some sort of business from home and she uh, changed her career altogether due to her back pain. 
and then came her niece's wedding so she went to her doctor and got like tons of pain medicine so she can go to the wedding and then she started sobbing and everything for going to the wedding so she went to the wedding of course with her husband and so he was there to help her uh, go there and help her throughout her plane journey which was much easy back then than now because that time people didn't have to deal with new uh, restrictions and all kinds of things which is going on now so that was much easier so she went and her brother um, arranged the wedding in their old uh, village home where their parents were living and so she had to go from the city to village the whole process took about a week and they took about two months of vacation to be there because they wanted to go and stay for two months and just enjoy their and get away from everything here and she sort of had a desire to get some solution for her back pain over there and she thought that she could find something some kind of yoga meditation or reiki healing or acupressure or acupuncture something like that alternative therapies so anyway she reached there and then when she reached to the village their village was very very remote village and the roads were very narrow so only thing used to go through roads is the rickshaw or bike bicycle or motorcycle or a bullock cart but no truck or big vans or big cars things like that. so they had their furnitures all made in their home and they were not able to go to big big stores and big get big furniture and they didn't have that many big store in a small village so anyway most of the people over there slept on the floor or the cot these cots were made in home and they used to call the carpenter and this is specific people who made this cot and this person would come and make the cot and they made it with very thick rope and this ropes used to last for like 10 years and throughout the 10 years they had wear and tear and some people had the money to repair them and some people didn't some people did a little bit of touch-ups but basically when it worn out in five to ten years you have to redo it with the rope and they had to just tighten the rope sometimes ropes got teared off so when that happened the bed was very saggy it will go sagging down the bottom the middle portion and the person who sleeps on it will hang down like a swing swing all night so yeah that would be very painful for their back so most people prefer to sleep on the floor anyway so when she got there she had an option to sleep on the floor or they made her a new cot which is totally new so it was very strong and tight so she chose to sleep on the cot and because she was in a lot of pain so but then next day when she woke up it wasn't any better anyway so uh, it went on for a couple of days and she was in pain and then they had a guest coming in the wedding and this guest was a, a Reiki master and he did acupressor and Reiki so he did some of those on her and then he advised her to try sleeping on the flat surface on the floor also they had a little bit of up space where it was made out of cement but a little bit high like a table but it's made out of cement and she could just put a quilt 
or they didn't have thick thick mattresses they had handmade quilts and they had comforters which they make from old clothes old fabrics so yeah people don't use too many thick layers they just use one one mat and one quilt and one cover on the body that's all and a small pillow sometimes fold up um, a towel sometimes fold up folded up clothes things like that so they don't make a big deal about it a big big comforters or mattresses or uh, four or five pillows on the bed they don't have any such things like that and their bed is um, temporary they put it down at night time and morning they put it away so no bed lays all on the floor taking up all the space and they do have wooden chairs and wooden beds which is custom made in the home and these are just flat wooden surface and you can put a quilt on top of it and sleep so then this um, person was giving her reiki and acupressor and he uh, suggested that she would start sleeping on the floor so she tried it was very hard at the beginning but she tried and after two three days of being in the pain um, she felt better she felt much better and then she continued doing it while well, in the meantime there was the wedding and lots of fun and going places and eating new food meeting all the new relatives and enjoying and since it was a village they used to um, in their uh, patio there was a well so you used to pull water from the well and there was a village so it was a lot of fields green fields and used to go in the paddy fields and walk around the village and they had big vegetable garden and some fruit trees too and they used to bring those food and eat and also there were many small small temple village temple where they had uh, evening ceremonies so evening ceremonies was every evening around six o'clock we used to go to the temple and there would be a lot of um, uh, prayers and then they will do sort of like saging they do um, with fire and then they put uh, frankincense in it and they burned those things and then they had a lot of singing and dancing and she enjoyed those and she just loved it and she was able to enjoy all these things because her back pain actually subsided so about three weeks later she was totally fine and she noticed a lot of different changes in her and I'm listing the changes what she noticed what she reported uh, the changes were since they used to go to bed around 10 nobody stayed up past 10 because they didn't have computers they didn't have TV they had radio and they had a black and white TV but nobody watched and the reason that nobody watched because the ladies in the house in the evening they all practice song so they would sing and they would practice the song is called riyaj and they would practice it in the evening and in the early morning so they really didn't have time after they practice the song and they did their homework and studies and then time to eat and go to sleep so nobody has time to sit in front of the tv and watch so she didn't sit there and watch she went and um, walked around the field went and got vegetables worked in the garden and hang out in the sun and she went to the river for fishing and they got a lot of fishes and then she went to the fields um, just to walk around and just enjoy with neighbors and then the temple going to temple going to everybody's houses it was a wonderful time that she had and she forgot all about her back pain so she used to go to bed very early around 10 and then they woke up four or five because 
the roosters and the chicken will start calling from four or five o'clock in the morning so they all got up and then she drank some tea and then they all got back to their chores and singing all kinds of uh, morning chores they have and she was busy doing that and they had beautiful sunshine Umba used to flood the house and she enjoyed the sunshine a lot so there were a lot of different things happen which she didn't have those things getting a lot of sun in her body sunshine and enjoying the nature being in the nature sleeping early sleeping on the floor and then when she woke up in the morning she was rested and rejuvenated and renewed so she felt so good and she was very happy her mood actually changed she became very happy and another thing she reported that she looked begin to look younger and the a dark circle under her eyes were gone and she could stretch her body and she was more energetic to do exercise and nobody had to tell her and it was just she felt like it and her whole um, uh, outlook for life changed before it was such a pain and living was painful life was painful but in the village where there was nothing actually no internet no TV no cell phone and life was so good and everything was natural and then from the Reiki master she started learning also and she did a lot of um, uh, the master performed a lot of Reiki sessions on her which reduced her pain significantly and taught her many things so after two months of enjoying and getting rid of all her issues she had neck pain she had back pain she had headaches and and she had mood problem and depression and just all kinds of things everything was gone from a to z everything was gone and she was a renewed new person and she loved life so much so she told her husband that I really don't want to go back but she had no choice because she had to come back so she came back and after she came back everything started back again to the square one but she arranged uh, to sleep on the floor but still she had headaches she had back pain she had pain the legs and she had those miserable feeling so somehow she managed to stay six months and then again she was gone for two months as she went slowly everything would vanish so finally she realized that we were meant to live like that to sleep on the floor live a natural life grow our own food and eat and be happy with friends and neighbors and go to temple and celebrate and and pray together eat together have weddings and ceremonies and all those events together so she had awakening and um, after that she stayed here about two three months very painfully and then she went there stayed eight nine months so that's how her life's been but it's a lot of learning and a lot of adjusting but she really liked the natural life and really helped her to heal so yeah it really helps people to get back to nature and do the things we're meant to do meant to work hard in the field get some sign and just be happy just like the animals the animals that's how they live animals live outside and they don't have a huge bank balance or a big house or a yacht or cars or things like that they just everything's provided by god so same way in villages people live like that they might have a house just for shelter for the rain for the sunshine for the night time but doesn't have to be a palace and they don't have any of these gadgets millions of gadgets she actually 
reported that without all these gadgets her life was much more healthier happier and better without the gadgets actually gadgets weren't there to help were there to create more problem as the she reported anyways so yeah i'll be finishing this and i just thought i should tell you the story
Hi, thank you so so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.